been waiting 50 days and 50 nights for Mitch to get this video started. Uh, that's not what happened. That's just her perception of reality. <laughs> is necessary. I ignore it. <laughs> what an intro, honestly, that was. I was like, where is you going with this? Like, and you got it. You yeah. did, you did. Yeah. And you do. <laughs> um, I think it's important because I think that the way that people handle confrontation inside a relationship sometimes it's very different than how they handle it with their friends mm -hmm. and they i am they they is me <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that i necessarily handle problems the same way um mm -hmm. depending on who it is because like with my friends i am very like angry <laughs> I'll be angry when I'm angry in general. Yeah, and then she'll be like, come with all this heat, like mad man. And then when it's um, true, she's like, okay, babe, how do you think I could have done this different? No, you haven't seen me handle conversation with But I'm going to be on that baby girl voice. Like, you don't bring that baby girl voice. Mm -hmm. No, okay, I will say that I think that the way that I handle it is a lot of the same. Like a lot of silence happens when I'm angry. And that's just because that when, when confrontation arises, it's hard for me to not speak out of emotion. And when I do speak out of emotion, like it's it's very, um, like it's blinded. Like I, I can't see what the intention was and I can't see outside of what I feel because like Micheline said at the beginning, perception is reality and what I perceive has then become my reality and everything else in my frame of thinking stems from that one place, which isn't the best way of operating. I'm not gonna act like I'm perfect and I'm not gonna act like I operate in a, in a logical sense when I have emotion clouding me. Kiki, 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 kiki. But how that how that transpires is very different me when I'm in a, in a relationship because like with Mish when she angers me like I let her know then and there that she's angered me and she can feel the anger that I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she makes sure that I can feel the anger as well. She says we're gonna go on this trip together. I'm angry, therefore so shall you. <laughs> And in turn, I get angry because why are you gonna make me angry? Because you're angry, but I, my anger is different from her anger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're different people, so thank you for that. Like, no, it's not like, because yeah. I don't want them thinking we just be fighting, because it's different. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Um, but in my relationship, I think that the way that I handle confrontation is the silence piece but it's also the um but it's silence and then i think that my silence drags out for a little bit longer that's i think that's the main difference because i'm trying to think of how i could be thinking about it wrong or how i could be thinking about it differently um and how i present like my emotions in a way that's conducive so we can have a conversation because a lot of times like sometimes it doesn't give way for conversation and so i'm trying to be silent think through my thoughts think through how i'm feeling so that i can then present it and so it's a struggle for me because like when something's bugging me i want to get it off my chest then and there because like it just festers for me otherwise like if i'm not able to get it off my chest initially but i think that it's helpful for me to take time and through being in a relationship I think that I've been able to gain practice so that I can change how I approach confrontation with like friends and family outside of my relationship. Yeah, 
them. Yeah. I don't think I um, have one general way of handling confrontation. I think it is different with like dating scenarios than um, friendships and family. But generally, I like to talk about things and I like to share what I think is wrong, why I think it's wrong, and how I think we can do better. Um, that I think generally is true across the board. Like I like to have a conversation. I think it's just useless to be like angry or upset someone and not talk about it. So the we need to have on FaceTime or call me now or let's talk about this is usually the way I go. Um, and then I like to think of myself as a direct person until it's like relationship based confrontation because I like. I have an interesting relationship with other people's emotions, and so I, I don't really, you know, if it's not like my boyfriend, completely different situation, but in like talking and dating scenarios, I just, mm, yeah. so my directness kind of goes out the window at that time, so I just try to find the best way to have these really tough conversations. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, for sure, if I'm like upset about something or whatever, like I will talk about it. And I will, that's always my thing. I wanna talk everything through and yeah. figure something out. But I think that um, if we're talking in the context of relationships, yeah. I think that it's. situation like with Micheline saying that like she likes to talk about it like when you're in a confrontational situation where you might have somebody who needs to take space before they talk about it and you are the type of person who likes to just like talk about it then and there you have to be able to figure out how to navigate like I'm the person who wants to talk about it this person is also not ready to talk about it so how do I how do we mesh the two to make sure that we're able to come to a resolve so that's all I was gonna say like the the different styles also have to be taken into consideration as well. Mm -hmm. But I can second the fact that she gets a little bit shy at times. I ain't never seen her less direct than <laughs> in relational time. Well, it shocks me every time. It shocks me every time. <laughs> because if you see how she be in my face. <laughs> Don't you mean my face ready to talk about everything, every single thing, just to ignore it, like she said in the beginning? Boy, I tell you. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Honestly, I think that you're right. There's not a specific way to handle things, but I do think that sometimes my reaction is just like kind of takes on the same shape. And then it's just a matter of like me taking a pause to think about how I'm going to then react to it. Because the initial thing is always kind of. Yeah, what I will add to what Priya was saying um, about understanding the other person's style and how they process confrontation is like important. And I think it could be hard. You have to learn how to navigate that, but it could be hard because in these situations, you know, everyone should be wanting to come to a resolution, but the way you get to that is going to look different for both parties. I think what becomes more important than how we handle it is like both understanding that okay this is a long-term relationship or friendship just both wanting to get to a resolution because i think sometimes when i get really stuck in i want to talk i want to talk i want to talk and understanding that you know my best friend doesn't want to talk or my partner doesn't want to talk like 
if we both take a step away from what we want to do and understand that this is a relationship and friendship we want to salvage, it takes the pride out of the scenario. And it's mm -hmm. not about who's right and who's wrong and how do we do this, but ultimately it's like, okay, we're at a place where, you know, we're not seeing eye to eye, but ultimately this is a friendship or relationship that I want. So let's focus on getting back to a place that puts us on track as opposed to being so prideful about the way in which we approach the situation. And you so, are talking with so much vim in your voice right now. <laughs> instead of being so, let's focus, instead of being so prideful. And like, I don't know, like, who hurt you? Like, and do you want to have a conversation? Because I am open to having that. <laughs> like, did y'all hear it as well? Because it came to a point where I was like, yeah, like, everything she's saying is wisdom. And then it just like slowly changed. <laughs> <laughs> like, sounds a bit angry. <laughs> so. So my thing, what makes me like most upset is when I'm like having a lot of passion about something and someone misinterprets my passion. Ooh. share this video with everyone from your support group. <laughs> bye y'all, bye bye bye. bye. <laughs>